Over the past 800 days, I've been selling cash care put options and doing poor man's cover calls in the 3X Levered ETF TQQQ. In this video, I'm going to show you the things that I've learned during that time frame, as well as what our results have been. Here's what the chart looked like when we began trading in TQQQ 800 days ago. Overall, it was in a nice bullish uptrend. It was consistently making higher lows as well as higher highs. In fact, it had just made a higher high several weeks before we began trading in it. It had now come down. It was right at the green 50 moving average, which has served as support for it for the past couple of years. Because of that, I felt comfortable taking a position in TQQQ. Now I fast forward to today. You see the roller coaster ride that TQQQ has been in over the past 800 days. Now this is not an ideal scenario to trade options against it, but it was a very good scenario to help test our option trading strategies. Up here in the top left is when we started trading in TQQQ. In fact, this week of candlestick right here on January 14th of 2022 is when we began trading against it. I actually made a video about 500 days ago talking through the first 300 days of trading in TQQQ. That video goes up to this area right in here, right about the bottom of the market. So I won't talk through much what happened during this first 300 days. If you'd like more details on that, I'll leave that video link down in the description below. But I'm going to focus on what's happened since then and also our overall return during this time frame. One thing I want to make sure you understand is the difference between trading in TQQQ and QQQ. Notice that from the time we started trading in TQQQ, it had a big decline, then it had a big increase in price. But overall, it's still down around 13% from where it was when we started trading in it. But notice what's happened during that same time frame with QQQ. Although TQQQ was down over 10% during that same time frame, QQQ is up over 15%. So overall, they don't move in unison together. Remember, TQQQ tries to get three times the move of QQQ, but it doesn't do that exactly. So overall, you're gonna have some drag on your returns if you're trading in TQQQ as compared to QQQ. One final thing I want to share with you comparing the two ETFs is what's happened over the past 500 days. Notice that during that time, QQQ is up almost 70%. On the other hand, TQQQ is up over 200%. And that makes sense because it tries to get 3x the return of QQQ. Now let's dig into our option trades over the past 500 days. Here you see a spreadsheet of all my trades during this whole 800 day time frame. Notice we did our first trade up here in the top left on January 14th of 2022. And just for reference, today is April 2nd of 2024, so a little over two years. Now the first video I did, it covers the time frame up to this yellow area right here. So I won't spend much time on that, except to point out that at that time, because the overall market was down so much, we were down this position. Remember, TQQQ was down 75% from where it was when we first started trading options in it back in January of 2022. So we were down $10,239 in this position. Well, what's happened since then? What have I learned from trading options and TQQQ over the past 800 days? Here's a couple of important points you should know if you're considering trading options against TQQQ. First, if you watch that video of the first 300 days, you see that our return, although it was negative, it was a lot better than the return we've experienced if we had just bought the stock outright or bought TQQQ as compared to trading options against it. So trading options against it definitely helped us out a lot when it came to minimizing our losses. Remember I showed you how much T was up over the past 500 days? Well, by using technical analysis, I realized that we we're probably reaching a bottom in TQQQ. Because of that, as you see here in these lighter shaded yellowish tan color cells, we bought some call options. In fact, we bought that call option. It was about a year off from expiration, so it's basically like a leaps call option. We bought the $40 strike price call option on January 9th of 2023. Fast forward about 14 months later, and on March 13th of 24, so less than a month ago, we sold that call option. We paid $3 for that call option, and when we sold it, we had an awesome return because we had sold it for over $25 per share. Fast forward about a month later, on February 17th of 23, we bought another call option. We bought the January of 2025 $45 call option. That option cost us $3.57 per share. When we sold it a few weeks ago, again, a very nice return. We sold it for $22.05 per share. So if you can use technical analysis to determine when the market might be topping or bottoming, you can really get some nice returns by trading longer term options against TQQQ. Notice that although we bought those options in January and February of 2023, we didn't sell any call options against them for a while. You see, we're waiting on TQQQ to start going up in price to be able to benefit from some gain of the underlying stock. However, several months later, on July 5th of 23, 
you see that we began to sell call options against those longer term call options that we bought. So we basically turned them into a poor man's cover call. And during this whole time, we continue selling near term cash secured put options against TQQ. Now going back up here to where my last video left off when we were 300 days into this trade, notice we had a loss of $10,239. Well, notice what's happened by watching this column here over this time frame. Our losses continued dissipated down to the point where today, when I scroll here to the very bottom, see that we're actually at a loss of $1,665. So the past 500 days, we've turned a $10,000 loss into a loss of only $1,665. Now, I don't like losses as much as anybody. And some of you might say, well, Randy, you wasted 800 days of trading. But what I think I did here is I learned a lot about trading in a 3X levered ETF. And that was really my goal with this. I didn't go into this position thinking I was gonna make a bunch of money. I knew it was a very volatile ETF. So what I wanted to accomplish was not really to make money. I, of course, I did wanna make money. That'd have been great. But I wanted to do is see if I could successfully trade in T triple Q. And I feel like I have successfully done that because I've learned some valuable lessons. I've made some mistakes, but I've learned some lessons. So here's a couple of lessons I learned during this time. Now to begin with, as I mentioned this first video where I've been trading it for about 300 days, I was buying extra put options. Now I did put a drag on me. So I bought some protective options to protect me in case T triple Q went way down in price against the cash care put options I was selling, basically turning them into bullish put credit spreads. But in addition to that, I was so concerned that I might experience a huge decline that I was buying extra put options. That did drag down my returns. And overall, even though the market did decline, I didn't see a whole lot of benefit from buying those extra put options. So unless I felt really strongly that we are about to experience a big decline, although I would buy some protective put options, which I've done as you'll see in just a minute, I would not buy extra put options. But what I've done to protect myself in case there was a huge stock market crash is I bought myself leaps put options that protect me and cap my potential loss for the near-term put options that I'm selling. And I actually just rolled those options out a few weeks ago. Now I've updated where this position would be overall to help you get a realistic P&L of where I'm at right now in this position. But in this bottom line here, you see a few days ago on March 4th of 2024, which is about two or three weeks ago, I rolled the protective January of 2025 put options out to January of 2026. So I now own the $20 put options that expire in a little less than two years from now. And this put options are at the $20 strike price. So if T triple Q were to go way down in price, I've capped my loss at $20 per share. And in fact, if it were to come way down in price, these $20 put options would go way up in value. So that does give me a buffer in case we experience a sharp market decline. And here you see, I've also rolled out the leaps call option portion of that poor man's cover call. I've rolled my long call option out to January of 2026. I've rolled the strike price up to $55 and that cost me $21.63 per share. That brings me to something else I want to share with you that I've learned trading in poor man's cover calls over the years I've done them, but more specifically, while I'm doing it with T triple Q. Notice that overall T is in a nice upward sloping trading channel. However, right now it's at the top part of that trading channel. If I own a leaps call option way down here, then if T declines way down here, then I'll experience a higher loss because the delta will be higher than if I own a call option that's up here. And if T does go up over the next couple of years, I'll still get some benefit from owning that long January of 2026 call option. But by rolling that strike price up, I decrease how much I'll lose in the value of that option if T were to decline. Also, notice the strike price of the short near-term call option I'm selling against my leaps call options. I've sold the third Friday of April call option at the $59 strike price. For that, I got almost $5 per share. So keep in mind that $59 strike price as I switch over to the chart here. Notice that T is trading for almost $60 per share. So my option is right at the money. And actually when I did this trade, this option was actually in the money. The reason why I did that is because I'm expecting T triple Q and the Qs to decline some from where it's at. They've had a big run here, and it wouldn't surprise me if it took a bit of a breather and came down in price. But that placement of $59 is also strategic because if it were to continue going up in price, that short near-term call option is not too far in the money. And notice the strike price of the near-term put options that I'm selling. Again, I sold these options in the middle of March, and we sold the third Friday of April options at the $49 strike price. And that's pretty far out of the money. In fact, they're way down here, or at the lower portion of this upward slope trading channel. Again, I'm expecting QQQ, and as a result, T triple Q to come down in price. So I wanted to give us some room for T triple Q to go against us and still win with these cash care put options. And in fact, as you can see here, it can come down over $10 per share or almost 20% before my $49 cash care put options that expire in about three weeks are challenged. So overall, if you're trading options in TQQ, it's really important to watch your technical analysis. It can really help you know when the market is shifting from a bearish to a bullish trend or vice versa. And when it's in a bullish trend, just be cautious and sell your cash care put options 
out of the money in case the market were to turn on you. And if you're doing poor man's cover calls, well try and keep your cover calls in an area where you can adjust them if the market continues to go up, but so they also give you nice premium in case the market were to go down. Overall, I've learned a lot from trading in TQQ over the past 800 days. I do plan to continue trading options against it and look forward to making better and better decisions as I continue to learn how to trade this position. If you'd like to get an alert whenever we buy stock or sell options, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. I'd like to see how you can use leaps options and poor man cover calls to generate awesome cash flow in return. Check out the video at the link above in the description below entitled Poor Man's Cover Call and Leaps Option Trading. Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.